Hi, I'm Deb Moore, Director of Craft Publications. We at Leisure Arts like to say we practice the art of everyday living. We know you do too. That's why our designers work so hard trying to come up with ingenious ways for you to squeeze your craft fix into your already very busy life. One of these is our stamp and stitch technique, and it combines rubber stamping with simple embellishments and basic cross stitch designs. This technique is so quick and so easy, but yields such professional results that we just published our fifth collection of these clever designs. We thought it would be fun to ask Kathy Elrod, one of our in-house designers, to demonstrate. So here's Kathy doing the stamp and stitch. Our stamp and stitch designs are perfect for the crafter on the go. With just a few supplies, you can create wonderful works of art like our flower power piece in less than a weekend. You'll need a stamp or group of stamps. For this project, we're using foam stamps. These inexpensive stamps work great and are widely available. Select ink colors that coordinate with your theme and your embroidery floss color. Next, you'll need a piece of cross stitch fabric and embroidery floss. We stamped on Aida and linen with great results. Masking tape, stamp cleaner, an old towel, and a ruler complete your supply list. Now that we've got our supplies, let's get started. Cut your cross stitch fabric large enough to accommodate your stamping and stitching. Be sure to allow extra fabric for your framing needs. Our publications will indicate the exact cut size of the fabric for you. Using masking tape, tape off the design area in the center of your fabric. You may find it helpful to mark a few guidelines to be sure that your stamping and stitching will be positioned correctly within the design area. Before stamping on your actual project, we recommend that you test your stamps and your ink colors first. So you'll apply your ink to your stamp until you get a nice even coat. And a firm down pressure is all that's required. Don't rock your stamp. You'll notice that we had some over stamping this first time that we tried out our stamp. This is why we recommend testing on your scrap fabric beforehand. That way you can try out your pressure uh, until you feel comfortable enough to actually go to your project. A tip you may find helpful is to clean your stamp in between each application. Just spray it with some stamp cleaner, wipe it with your towel, and it's ready to reapply ink for the next application. Sometimes you may not want the entire design of a stamp to stamp off on your project. So we use a technique called masking, where we simply cover up the parts of the stamps that we don't want to stamp. You can take masking tape and simply cover the areas that you don't want included in your stamping. Let me get that good and covered. Okay. Now we can ink our stamp. The result is only the daisy is stamped on my fabric. Now that your piece is stamped, allow the ink to dry and you're ready to stitch your expression. Simply stitch the design within the area indicated. You can even go back and add cute embellishments like the button centers we put on our flowers. Now your one-of-a-kind stamped and stitched piece is ready for framing. Many of our designs fit ready-made frames. Or you can have fun with mats and custom framing. And you can find all our stamp and stitch titles at your local craft retailer or by visiting us at www.leacherarts.com.